Okay, let's take a look at uh, a, a data frame. It allows us to uh, do more items later on, but specifically now we'll just look at how it alters how our frequency uh, distribution looks. So I'm going to um, create a new, new script, do file new script, and I'll go ahead and save that. And uh, data frame dot R. Okay. Um, first off, I'll show again, uh, coming in from just the, the main program, and then I'll, I'll look at uh, importing a CSV file. Okay, so um, I think the book actually uses word frequency, so, um, well, we'll do that in a minute. D1 for my data set. And one, one. Two, one, excuse me. Okay, put some random numbers in here. That should be good. Okay, now, um, now we can, and I spe specifically want to show this because this is something a lot of people don't realize about R. Um, but if I do a table D1 and do an edit run all. It gives me, uh, let's see, there's six ones. I can buy that. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah. Spacing's a little weird there. Okay. And two twos. Yeah. Three, uh, two threes and one four. Okay. What you can do is you can set that equal to a variable like that. Now, if I were to run it, You see, it really doesn't show anything there. But if I type frequency now and do a run all, it gives me the same result. Okay, what's the benefit of this? Well, if I want to use those results over and over in my program, uh, then assigning it equal to a name, uh, we can think of it as uh, something called a variable. Um, it's, it's really an object that we're working with, but we'll, we'll refer to it as variable because if you've had any programming uh, experience in the past, uh, that's that's the terminology we, we uh, like to think of. Okay. So, um, uh, we're going to look at how then to put this in a little bit different format. So, I'm going to have, um, and I could, um, I could set it equal to another name if I wanted to, but if I just do data frame frequency, The book uh, shows these uh, um, inside each other. So you have data frame, beginning parentheses, table, and then beginning parentheses, and then whatever your name is um, of your your data object. Now you see here, this is a little bit more, um, maybe a form that we're more used to, a more customary form, um, where it's listed um, in this manner instead of um, across here. Uh, and that's what a data frame gives us uh, for now. Now I said I was going to show how to bring data in. And so let me uh, come create a, a new um, CSV file. And uh, I should pick something different. I keep doing the same year in sales. So 2,000 and um, 1,000 and 2,001 and uh, 2,000, 2,002 and 1,000, 2,003. And there's better ways of doing uh, sales and um, as a frequency distribution where we're counting them. But um, this will give something to work with anyway. And 2000, 2004, and 1000, 2005, and um, 3000. Okay, that's enough. So I'm going to do a save. I want to change the save as type to all files. And uh, test4.csv. And I'll click save. Okay, so I want to bring that in. So D2. Is going to be a read dot. Uh, I didn't set my working directory. 
Mind you, it's still pointing to work. That's why when I save my script, that's where it's going. Um, but just from a good uh, programming standpoint, is if I put it up on top, then it will always set it. I never have to worry about it uh, being set to something else. Um, the book uh, goes over uh, how do you set your working directory through the interface, and that's fine. You can do that. Um, let's see. That's uh, CSV. Okay, and um, no memory, what I call it, test4, test4.csv. Okay, so I'll bring that in, and um, at that point, I want to convert it over to a data frame. And uh, I'll call it DF1, I just want to show this, equals, and um, I'll do it all in one line, as the book, book did with their example, data.frame, and then uh, table, and then D2. Now I set that equal to a uh, to a variable, to a, an object. Um, I can type DF1 now to print those results. So if I do an edit, run all. Um, <laughs> of course, it helps if I put my do it right. And do my dollar sign, what's the name of my column? Uh, sales. There we go. Because remember, when you got a CSV file, you got multiple columns. Then you need to do the, besides just the D2 for um, what we brought in for the CSV, you have to do uh, dollar sign column name. The column name, again, corresponds with the name you have right here. Okay, let's try it again, and hopefully it'll work this time. That looks better. So I got three 1,000s, I got two 2,000, and I got uh, one uh, 3,000. Uh, so that shows you uh, using the data frame uh, to bring back to your frequency in a little bit different format from both just the interface, from the program, and from a CSV file.